Yesterday, I did Peruvian cacao with ayahuasca and I started tremoring, shivering in the beginning and during my trip. And I'm going to explain you why it is so incredibly useful to be familiar with TRE. So you won't get stressed out during a trip like that when you're doing ayahuasca or any other psychedelics. So a previous podcast guest and I and some friends ordered Choco Bliss, which is produced or manufactured or supplied um, by Maria Johanna, who is a Dutch lady who also organizes ayahuasca ceremonies. And a big shout out to Maria Johanna for uh, making it possible to have an experience like this. Uh, so big shout out because it was a uh, one heck of an experience and I got straight to, to another universe and got to, got to deal with one of my biggest fears. So, the tremoring. Like I said, in the beginning of my trip, I started tremoring. Like my whole body was shaking. And I am really, really happy that I'm familiar with TRE, that I did a workshop and I had an interview with David Baselli, who was the creator. And if you're not familiar with TRE, I'm going to send you, uh, link it up in the, uh, in the top of the video, what TRE exactly is. But uh, very short, very briefly, very brief. Um, it is a way for mammals to de-stress the nervous system. So when you, for instance, when you are maybe in a fight or you have to go to do a presentation, you start being nervous, you start sweating and you know, uh, a little shiver. When you're going upstage or in front of the classroom and start talking to other people, that's the nervous system bringing down the stress levels. And you're really shivering out the stress like any other mammal on the, on the planet. And I also experienced it when I took my dog for, to, to Amsterdam from Haarlem. Uh, and she started shivering real bad because it was her first train experiences, uh, experience. Uh, but after five minutes of shivering in the train, she was completely relaxed. And that's also what humans experience. But in this society is not wished all the time for you to express the real emotion that you are experiencing at that given moment in time. And that is culture. But when, you don't, when you're not aware of that, you store every emotion when you are irritated or uh, sad or whatever, or happy, but you are not allowed to show the emotion or the experience that you're feeling right then, and you store it into your fascia or in your muscles. And that's why you see people, people who are very tense in their jaw. They have a lot of anger, you know, they want to fight and they are, they are outrageous, but they're suppressing the emotion and they're keeping it in their jaws. So when you know you're tense up in the neck and in the jaw, you know you have some repressed anger. Uh, the neck is one of the most tense spots, uh, ten, uh, most tender spots for people, stress, anxiety, uh, the stomach, it's where you laugh, ho, 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 you laugh with your whole body, not only, <laughs> you don't only laugh upstairs, you laugh, you laugh with your whole body. So the human body has some specific points which are indicator, indica, indicators for certain suppressed emotions. And when you are using, or in my case, when I was using uh, this so-called Shoko Blist uh, with ayahuasca, I started tremoring. So, Maybe you experienced some similar stuff when you did psychedelics or ayahuasca. Please uh, uh, leave it down below. Um, but it's completely normal. It's just your nervous system de-stressing and getting rid of the emotions that you suppressed. So allow yourself to feel, just go through it. It's completely okay to feel pissed sometimes. It's just an, an idea, an emotion that you have to, uh, uh, you have to deal with it. And the trip that I endured yesterday allowed me to also feel the emotion that I suppressed in that certain moment of time, which was very special. And every time I got up to a new, a new frequency of vibration, your whole body is vibrating and to a point where I was really scared because I, I was, it was like I was in in the future and in the past and my sound was my sound was the last grip on this reality that i'm that you and i are experiencing right now but i had to let go of that of that fear 
And it is one of the fears that I always endured in, psy in previous psychedelic uh, trips um, because I got implosions in my head, but that had to do with the fact that I couldn't let go. And the trip of yesterday made me let, let go. And when I let go, man, I felt gratitude. I, f I, I felt love and I felt like I was uh, getting into harmony with myself. And my, every time I, I went to the level of letting go and I let go, so certain muscles uh, were shivering again and then they were distressing and they're deloading the, the, the repressed stuff that was in the, inside there. And I got to feel the exact feeling that I was not expressing at that given moment in time. So extremely valuable, extremely valuable. Uh, and I learned to let go and when you let go, you are able to feel love and when you are able to feel love for yourself uh, and be in harmony with yourself you are also capable of loving other people because if you can't love yourself how the fuck are you gonna love somebody else so that was one of the biggest lessons that i le learned yesterday is to let go to let be and just be okay with the fact that you're pissed or having crazy thoughts uh, and you can also read a nice book from John Sarno, uh, which is called uh, Mind to... What is it? The Body... The Mind and Body Connection? Fuck. What is it more there? I don't know. John Sarno, he has some great books on suppressed emotions and how you can uh, work with that. So, <laughs> to wrap this up, uh, TRE, if you want to know more about TRE, uh, I did an interview with the, uh, one of the people who was, uh, who was the creator of TRE, uh, which his name is David Berselli. Big thumbs up to the man. He's an incredible mind and an incredible positive person. I did an interview with him. I also did a, a small item on what TRE is. Uh, so you can check that out. I want to give a big, big, big thumbs up to Maria Johanna for making it possible to experience something like this with her Shoko Bliss. Uh, me and my friends had a fucking amazing time and uh, we got answers uh, and we will be doing this uh, ex uh, yeah, more often. Uh, it is a way to go into the quantum field of life, into the universe and learn about your own consciousness and about the consciousness of other people uh, and everything is possible when you go into that dimension, everything. So if you want to know more, you get to subscribe to this channel. Uh, don't miss any, any other content. And you can also subscribe to the uh, email list where I will go more deeply, uh, more deeper into this uh, content that I won't share on YouTube. And this was Matthias from Injadama sharing experiences and knowledge so you can choose how to optimize your health. Cheers. Like I said, it's complete being nervous, you start sweating and, you know, uh, a little shiver when you're going upstage or in front of the classroom and start talking to other people. Why did you two minutes? What is that for a fucking glitch, man?